I've got a great little recipe to show that you can have a curry without it being a heavy option. Now these king prawns in a fragrant coconut sauce are ready in a flash. I'm gonna serve them with a really easy cauliflower rice. So I've got some onions here, they've just been softening gently. And then to that I'm gonna add some garlic. You could use a crusher, I like to use a little grater. Just grate that straight in. And then take some ginger, just finely slice it, and then shred it into fine matchsticks. You just wanna fry off your onion, ginger and garlic just for a few minutes until it's really nice and soft. Right, so once that's all soft, go in with some curry powder and then some tomato puree. And it's really important that you fry these out for a couple of minutes before adding anything else. So you're gonna release all of that flavor and get that tomato puree to start doing its work because that's what's gonna help to thicken the sauce. Right, so while that's cooking out, just grab a couple of tomatoes. And these just need to be really roughly chopped because they're gonna break down as they cook anyway. So in with the tomatoes, give that a quick stir and then in with coconut milk. And stir everything together and then let that simmer away for about 10 minutes, just until those tomatoes are broken down and all of those flavors have had a chance to marry together. Now while that's happening, I'm gonna make the cauliflower rice. So just break the cauliflower down into florets, pop it into a food processor, Make sure you don't blend the cauliflower too hard because you'll end up with a really wet paste. What you need to do is pulse it until it's into tiny little pieces. And that's what you're looking for, this nice kind of small grains. So I'm gonna set the frying pan over a high heat and then add a little bit of coconut oil. All right, so once your pan's really nice and hot, just go in with the cauliflower. So this takes about five minutes to cook, so it's a good time to put your prawns in. These go straight into the curry. Now, after a couple of minutes, you'll see that it starts to get a little bit of color. So add a pinch of salt. And what that's gonna do is help draw the moisture out of the cauliflower and help to steam it and just finish it cooking. So the prawns are pretty much there. And then the last thing to do with this is just freshen it up with a bit of lime. So in with some zest to cut through the richness of the coconut, just want some juice as well. Stir that in, and then that can come off the heat. And our cauliflower rice is ready. So that's all ready to serve. I'm just gonna finish it off with a bit of fresh coriander. My coconut king prawns and cauliflower rice.